Hello grade 10, welcome and thank you for clicking this video. At the end of this video, I am expecting you to know already how to get the value of unknown terms in a sequence using, of course, the general term. Before we proceed to the solving part, let's define what a sequence is first. A sequence is a set of numbers or objects arranged in a specific order. So this is simply a list of anything that has an arrangement. In this example, 3, 5, 7, 9, it is so obvious that for you to get the next number, you just have to add 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, and so on. We call these numbers terms or elements. Pero ang mas ginagamit, if we're talking about sequence, we use this word, term. A sequence having a finite number of terms is called a finite sequence. And a sequence that has an infinite number of terms is called infinite sequence. Ang pagkakaiba lang naman ng dalawa, kapag ka finite, there is an end. There is a limited number of terms. Kapag ka infinite sequence, walang hangganan. It doesn't end. It goes on forever. And to denote infinity, ginagamitan po natin ang sequence ng three dots. So these three dots denotes that the sequence will go on forever. Okay, let's try some exercises. Find the next terms of each sequence. In the first one, 4, 7, 10, 13. I think it's very obvious na sa sequence na to nag add ka lang ng 3. 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. And I think we already know the next term here. The next term is 16. And so the next term is 19. In the second sequence, as you can see, the numbers are decreasing. So parang nagsusubtract siya or nagdi-divide. And obviously, it is not subtraction. Kasi I think division na ang involved dito. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Parang hinahati mo yung preceding term para makuha mo yung next term. So hinati mo yung 16. Ano bang half ng 16? It is 8. Ano ang half ng 8? It's 4. And so... The next term is 2. Bakit 2? Kasi ang half ng 4 ay 2. So let's proceed to the general term of the sequence. Now, a general term, or the nth term, is used to find the other terms of the sequence. So ang general term po ay equation, or parang formula na ginagamit para makuha ang unknown terms ng given sequence. So let's try this example. Find the 10th term of the sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, and so on, whose general term is given by a sub n is equal to n over 2 times n plus 1. Before we solve this, familiarize muna natin ang sarili natin sa mga notations na ginagamit when we're talking about sequence. So a sub 1 is first term. a sub 2 is second term. And so, ang kailangan natin dito sa problem na to ay ang a sub 10. We need to find the 10th term. Ang binigay lang kasi sa sequence ay yung first 5 terms, which is 1, 3, 6, 10, and 15. Now, ito ang kailangan natin. And for us to solve that, we're just going to substitute 10 in place of n in the general term. So, lahat ng n palitan ng 10. And we're just going to solve for the result. And so, the 10th term of that sequence is 55. So, hindi na natin kailangang i-investigate kung ano pa yung mga pinag a We just have to substitute this number to the general term. Let's have more examples. Give the first three terms of the sequence whose nth term or general term is given by a sub n is equal to 2n plus 5. Now, walang binigay na sequence dito. But what we are asked to do is to give the first three terms. Kapag the first three terms yan ang ating first term or a sub 1, 
second term or a sub 2, and the third term or a sub 3. Ang gagawin lang natin dito is simply substitution. For a sub 1, we're going to substitute 1 in place of n. So, the first term of the sequence is 7. For the second term, we just have to substitute 2. The second term is 9. And for the third term, it is 11. So the first three terms of the sequence are 7, 9, and 11. So ganun lang po kadali ang pag-solve ng unknown terms given the general term.